Hi, I'm Patrick Kilpatrick of the Chesapeake Shakespeare Company, and this is 60 Second Shakespeare. Shakespeare in America has a long history. The first recorded production in America of Shakespeare was in 1730, Romeo and Juliet in New York City. Yo, Romeo! Because Puritan and Quaker religious beliefs prohibited acting, Shakespeare was usually thought of as literature rather than theater. But once Romeo and Juliet hit the stage, all that changed. Richard III and Othello were popular choices, as was, of course, Romeo and Juliet. For minors during the California Gold Rush, Shakespeare was a popular form of entertainment. I like the romantic ones. The famous actor Edwin Booth arrived in 1848, performing versions of The Taming of the Shrew, Othello, and Hamlet on a redwood stump. Much of the 20th century was taken up by American actors' feelings of inferiority to British actors when it comes to Shakespeare. But that was all turned around by innovative companies like Joseph Papp's Shakespeare in the Park, the Oregon Shakespeare Festival, and theaters across the country like Maryland's own Chesapeake Shakespeare Company. For more about the works of Shakespeare, watch Shakespeare Uncovered. 